always want to make new songs and to not get bored. Yeah. When you play old songs for a long time, it, it, it yeah, you lose the energy of the song. At one at one point, you played it so many times, like the kids, the computer games. Right. It, at one point, it's over. You know, like when you and creating new songs. Out of it. Yeah, 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 and creating new songs is is exciting, and you have to find the sound on the stage. You work together on the song, and, and also in the rehearsal room and in the studio, of course, but. Yeah, it gives a it gives a really new energy every time we make a new set with new songs and a new album. That you start from zero and you make a whole new thing. And it's like a painter who wants to make new 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 paintings, and you always want to improve, make new songs. You have new ideas, make new sounds. That's how you can keep going for 38 years. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing old songs, it's, then you become like a jukebox of your own, you know, like, and that's not interesting. Right, okay, so uh, having played for 38 years, the ex keeps on being excited about uh, new songs yeah. and new ideas. Yeah. Otherwise we stop. I think uh, oh, I was uh, thinking that uh, the X is uh, it's a punk band uh, in a way, and punk is uh, is very it's rich in music. <laughs> years old you know like uh, and, sure. and, and so punk for me is something from the past it's, it's yeah I said, don't experience I, I don't, it yeah. as rock band rock yeah band guitar yeah yeah, band. yeah yeah and, and but anyway um, uh, the, yeah there's a lot of, we improvise but we, we, we also write I mean I write my lyrics and we make structure but it's also free and open that we're open for for, like these songs we played tonight, yesterday they were different. You know, All right. like there is always open space in the song. Things can go left, right. We, we take a turn here. Oh, and then we take the turn there. We will, uh, we will come probably at the same spot in the end. All right. But uh, it can go different ways. Okay. And that keeps it exciting. That makes it for us also super nice and fun to to play songs and uh, so but how we make them in the rehearsal room it usually starts someone has an idea yeah and plays the idea brings it in and we react on it like a conversation uh, someone brings in an idea and we respond and sometimes it makes sense the response sometimes it becomes a conversation or a dialogue between four people yeah and then we, in a way, we write things down. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Uh, we keep it in mind, and it, be it can become a story or a song. You know, like uh, it can become something. And then we, we, we make it in a way that we think, okay, this is gonna work on stage, and this we want to record for an album, and then, yeah. And then sometimes I have ideas already uh, for lyrics or words that I've written through the year that I'm just having ideas and sometimes I sit down and I write new lyrics and yeah sure that the, the, the lyrics are not always there from the beginning that okay. can be, you know can the music after, uh, yeah the yeah. music works really in that way okay yeah, yeah. and do you still do rehearsals like uh, any bands or yeah you regularly yeah. or every like this week tour or? like like last Monday we had a rehearsal before we went on tour yeah all right one yeah. rehearsal yeah
don't have very structured agreements that everybody has to remember. Uh, one thousand things for All right. one song, you know, yeah. like oh. you know the math rock band with very complex structures. No, we're the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the opposite of mathematics? You're a teacher. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Literature. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe art. Or gymnastics. A gymnastic band, yeah. Yeah, I saw there was quite a lot of sport on the or, stage. Or a uh, sculpture. Sculpture, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So more an artistic... Uh, uh, point of view on probably music, yeah, yeah at the, least more, more than thinking the music instead of all the numbers and the lines and uh, and the and the, and the formulas we have the clay and we sure make something out of it Uh, your new album uh, since yeah, it's coming I can, I can uh, February or <laughs> about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got all the information. <laughs> no, you, you heard it. Like yeah. it's, uh, the, 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 we played it. We played the whole album. Right. Yeah. And uh, we recorded it in October and mixed it in November and mastered it in December. So and in March it will come out. Right. And. Um, uh, yeah, it has uh, 10 songs and it's about one hour <laughs> and uh, okay. it will be on LP and CD and download and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And we bring it, uh, we re release it on our own label like we do things okay. ourselves. Yeah. And who uh, recorded the album? Um, in Casper, uh, 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 his name is Casper, he, he has a studio called Electric Monkey. All right. Electric Monkey Studio in, uh, in Amsterdam. Yes. Okay. For the X, uh, uh, it's more the stage that is important, or uh, the recording of songs. Mm, I mean, it's 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 always both. both. Like yeah. when we've played a lot of concerts, then we get bored of the songs, and then we need the rehearsal room and the studio to make new songs. Right. The one cannot be without the other. Okay. So, and then, of course, and you had time in the studio, rehearsal, make new songs, and then you want to go back on stage, of course, and play. <laughs> Quite uh, associated with uh, uh, the squat scene uh, in the Netherlands and in Europe in general, um, and uh, I was wondering if you still felt a connection with this scene even today. Do you get invited to play in really grassroots, uh, you know, with collectives and uh, political organizations, 
or do you feel less linked to to that scene today? I, I don't know. I don't. Two two of uh, two members of the X still live in uh, buildings that used to be squats. Right. So I think there's still a strong connection. Anyway, like physically, in a way. Yeah. Um, where the, the the squat scene of in Amsterdam and surroundings, of course, has changed, but there's still a lot of people and places where good things happen. That we are, we play there, we are involved there with organizing things, and it's it, there's still a strong connection. Right. Um, it has changed, I think, but but uh, that doesn't matter. The, I think, uh, and yeah, like squatting is forbidden now in the Netherlands. Where, I mean, sure. which, is, which is completely shit, of course, but. Uh, Anyway, the the ideas behind it mm -hmm. are still are alive somehow. I think. Right. And uh, our way of doing things, be autonomous and independent, um, in a way, is connected with ideas of the people from the squad scene from over the years, maybe from hundreds of years. Because it's I don't think the idea behind it is something from the 80s or from the 60s or something. I think yeah. it's the idea of independence. And being autonomous from any kind of authority, I think, is a very strong idea that people have had for long, long times. So, I, so for us, it's also normal. So, we know a lot of people all over Europe and 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 in the U.S. and maybe even in Ethiopia and Ghana and you know, like where, places where we go, you always meet people who have the same kind of idea, right. approach to life, and uh, some people can call it political. Uh -huh. But for it, for us, it's also it's normal life. It's the way yeah, we cook sure. food, the yeah. way we we, we uh, do with people, uh, the, yeah, where we buy things or make things and how we do things, and the way we make music and the way we deal with our music is connected. It's all the same. Music for us and what we do is not like a fairy tale story on top of life, like a dream or blah blah. It's it's like somebody can make something out of clay or build f furniture and yeah. we make music and it's normal thing it's very special like in a way yeah music is a sort of untouchable like a very uh, mysterious thing the sound and rhythms and, and, and everything but on the other hand the way we do and make and interact is very normal, you know, and like it's life. It's a uh, yeah. So and then yeah, of course, there's still people everywhere who who have, who organize great events right. in a very complete autonomous way. Sometimes in protest against something completely stupid. And if we agree and if we have time, if it's possible, play, we we, yeah. we we play and uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. We 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 don't put flags up. We don't advertise ourselves like that because it's. Like I just said, is is uh, it's a normal. Thing. It's yeah. normal. It's our normal way of life. Mm -hmm. Like it's not. It's we're not like a, we do, we are not advertised in the shops as political band or something. No. That's stupid. I think. No, but you are known for that because we also like food. Not only and we yeah, also sure. make food, so we're also not advertised as a food band. No, or something. So no. all right. <laughs> we're a music band. <laughs> And uh, another, th another thing uh, with which I uh, associate you is uh, maybe a, a typically a European sound, kind of uh, European punk rock, I don't know, with bands uh, where um, Andy used to play, uh, Dogface Thurmans, yeah. and Massico in a way. I, yeah. I don't know if you would agree with that, but I think you have a kind of sound uh, uh, that maybe you don't find so, so much in other co co continents. Maybe in America, and you've been playing in America, haven't you? Yeah, well, for us it makes total sense that we connect to where we are from. Sure. We are not from America, we're not from... Yeah, we're from Europe. Yeah. Andy is from, from England, Kat is from Germany. Right. Uh, Teddy and I are from the Netherlands, and uh, we have our own backgrounds and approach to music. And as I said, because it's part of our life, it's not something like we saw, oh, music is there, we picked it from the air, and this is what we want to make, like a concept. No, it comes, we pull it from the ground where we have lived for a long time. And that's, those are the strings that are attached to us in a way, so that's also, 
Yeah, it's mysterious, of course, because we also listen a lot to African music and, and, and we've been there a lot and traveled there a lot. So some people will say that they hear African influence in our music and I say, yeah, well, I get a lot of inspiration. I listen to a lot of that music. Right. So some yeah. inspiration happens, always happens, of course. Sure. But we cannot ignore the fact that our bodies are, are made on this continent and are connected to, to the... To the to the cows and the and the soil and the wooden shoes maybe or uh, or the, the the English tea or the German pretzels or something. <coughs> so if our music sounds like pretzels and tea and uh, and Dutch cheese, then uh, then I agree. I cannot say no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's wrong. That's a mistake. No, no, probably maybe it does. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. All right. And uh, how would you? Um, uh, What's the link between music like African music, for example, and let's say the, the punk rock roots of, of the X? What, what link can you see between traditional music or world music, I don't know, and, uh, and punk rock music, which is different from traditional music? Maybe the, the link that we feel is, because it's also a human link, but uh, the, 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 um, a lot of the musicians that we play with from Ethiopia, from Ghana, uh, have a kind of same kind of independence, right? Which is which affects the music that you make. Maybe the I, the it's direct, mm -hmm. like the music it's direct. It's there's there's no uh, there's no shiny glossy thing around it. Right. There's no conceptual it's idea. Right. Yeah. There's there's no management idea that is implemented like uh, on it it's music it, for the people it's direct maybe a raw is a, is, is a good uh, is a good word but but um, uh, yeah as i said before it's in it's 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 in connection with other things that we do right and, and uh, it's physical maybe even also Having been uh, having existed for for such a long time, does it get uh, some kind of uh, institutional recognition? And uh, do you get asked to do I don't know cultural projects or to represent Netherlands in a way a lot or sometimes a bit, but but uh, for the Netherlands we are still like very like a strange duck in the park. All right. You know? <laughs> I mean, no, it's not our music is not uh, you don't get invited very for normal. Huge, uh, huge events or no, no, like that. No, 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 no. But we get invited by places sometimes to make our own X festival, for example. All right. And then we get some sort of, uh, and that's great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That that that's I think in some and in some countries uh, th there are some people with the same kind of head who walk around and who work for some cultural institution. For example, in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, for example, and who, who saw the X and really liked it, and then contacts the Dutch embassy or something, and then the Dutch embassy sends them these terrible rock bands. Oh, you want to do something from the Netherlands? That's great. Uh, these, and then, like, this terrible. And then he says, but I want the X. And I said, yeah, but they are not on our list of oh. terrible rock bands that yeah, represent yeah, yeah. the Netherlands. Oh, well. I don't care about the list, I want the X. <laughs> and then finally, eventually, we end up in Brazil and have a great... Uh, so you've been playing in Brazil? Yeah, yeah, we played that, yeah. Right. yeah. So, ah, well, but things, things always happen. Okay. Uh, and when there's a sort of energy from people, uh, 
uh, behind it with a sort of direct open mind, then things happen and, and we get invited every now and then for interesting things. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A question for um, Terry, but may, you're, you're you're the singer of the X, so maybe you can answer this question. Uh, I noticed that uh, on stage uh, Terry tends to use uh, you know objects uh, from the room to, to play his guitar on, like uh, in the in the bridge class the, there is a handrail and, it, and he, oh, yeah. he's on sliding on uh, on the handrail and here on the column. Yeah. And I, I was wondering if sometimes things happen. You know, on the stage that were unintended and funny, maybe. Do, do you remember uh, yeah, any, any the, uh, accident or? In a way, you, you, if you create the the uncertainty, yeah, or chaos or whatever you want to call it, then maybe you, in a way, you create a, a problem. But the musical problem is always a very interesting problem because with music, uh, everything is possible, and you so you can also solve it. thing in making music is to solve the problem All right. that's why it's great to have your songs open so mistakes are not mistakes yeah they are just developments that you have to answer or react to okay and in a way using the stage and and the audience super important of course uh -huh. the, that's number one for a concert for, for somebody on the stage playing for an audience you want Otherwise you become a movie of yourself and you always play every night the same thing, blah, 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 blah. And because already there is an audience, even apart from the objects, and every time the audience is different. Right. There's a different reaction, a different feel in the room. So you already have to figure it out every night again. <laughs> figure out like, uh, how are we gonna play this song? If maybe somebody shouts something, uh, like, like today there were two guys right in front of me shouting really loud and very excited and but they shouted so loud they were louder than my monitor so oh, something yeah. i couldn't yeah. hear myself really I, I, I well noticed that you cleared the monitor <laughs> yeah yeah so i had really uh, like uh, sort of fixed that um, and so things become a bit different than right. that. and creating some sort of are our, our looking for the even the physical variation in yeah. what's happening mm -hmm. Is is uh, is part of making music. It's part of improvising also. All right. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So I I I see 
I don't know if the, no, this would not be Terry's answer, of course, because I'm not Terry, but this is how I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're just creating musical problems. There was there was no f physical problems or. Oh, oh no, not even a problem. Or... A challenge. Or, you yeah. know, like you challenge yourself and the band and uh, and uh, and uh, the room, even like what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah. How are we gonna deal with it? Yeah. So. Hello. Hey! Hey! Welcome in the smoking room. Welcome in the smoking room. But I think we're, we're ready, no? Yeah, we're finished. Okay, uh, we're ready. Okay. Uh, we go back and I don't Thank you. Uh, have fun uh, dancing for the great DJ. And, uh,